It wasn't always easy for Rita Sloniker's daughter, who's in a wheelchair, to get around. But the sprawling ramp made it a whole lot easier. Well, I was really happy to see it there because it made a big difference. Before that, we had a metal ramp here, and we had to take her up and down. It was really steep and slippery, and so then it was, uh, you know, it was really nice to be able to take her places and do things with her. Engineering student volunteers built it several years ago as part of a service learning project, and have been building ever since. It's kind of interesting how all the, the ones on that little post are kind of angled in. Using Rita's ramp as a learning tool, these volunteer engineers get last-minute instructions. So you can see the different sizes. This is what has made service learning. Uh, this is what has made the class, uh, the service learning project. It, we actually all year because uh, this encompasses two classes. We are talking about it and this is kind of our culminating project and we can make a party out of it. It really brings the students together, it builds a cohort. With each hinge and plank of wood inspected, they move on to their latest project. It's for my husband. He has cancer and uh, sometimes he's not able to get up the steps. It's hard to get him in and out. Mm -hmm. So the ramp will help a lot. With detailed notes and measurements, the students customize their ramp design to meet Carol and her husband's needs. Being able to, you know, talk to the homeowners, get to know the homeowners, uh, understand how they will be using your product, or in this case, uh, your wheelchair ramp, and then help them design it better. Well, we think that we're in a, a teaching capacity in the fact that we have constructed, Jim Hood and I, approximately 100 ramps over 11 years. And so we've had a lot of experience and we share that with the young people who haven't had an opportunity to build a ramp. people out there who will do it just to donate their time so it's good that the college is allowing us the opportunity to go and donate our time where we get the, um, the experience for the class as well as help out people who are unfortunate and don't have the money to provide for themselves a ramp. Students actually get to come out and build something in, in this particular case or produce something. It's very valuable. It, gives you a sense of accomplishment and then you've thought about it, you've either built it or you designed it and then you get to see it in use. They seem to be more in tune with the needs of whoever we're working for. They seem to care more because now you've got a connection, you've got a person or a place that you can connect to and that just means a lot more. The only measurement I need. Together they build a ramp as well as new relationships, connecting education to community service. Every time they drive past a, this one or any other wheelchair <laughs> ramp, I'm like, I was part of that. I had, had a connection with Houston and the community and whether they stay here or whether they go, they'll always have that. 